Joining us now uh, from Lagos here is uh, Cosmos Chukwemeka. He's the media officer of the Lasso Center of the ongoing uh, FASU Games. Cosmos, thank you so much for joining us tonight. It's an absolute pleasure to have you on Game On. Uh, it's, uh, the, the competition, from what we've seen, has been really, really entertaining. Uh, but let's just get a clarity. How many universities, I beg your pardon, are in Lagos as we speak? And how many athletes are we looking at are already competing? All right, thank you very much, uh uh, today, um, okay, so first of all, let me just correct an impression. I'm not, uh, I am the secretary of the media committee. Apologies, uh, apologies. Last week. Yes. Yes, and of course, we have another secretary in Unilag as well, but we're working together as a team effort. Uh, the universities available at the moment, at the last count, are close to about um, 25 universities at the last count. Now, the reason is because some universities actually came in um, after the opening ceremonies at the University of Lagos on Saturday. I mean, we say hi. I do know that uh, the River State University of Technology came in yesterday. We've had universities in Ghana coming in. Of course, we have universities in Uganda. We have universities from Zimbabwe. Of course, uh, Egypt as well. We have universities from Egypt as well. And um, a whole lot more. It's been a very, very interesting competition so far. Uh, I mean, thus far. Uh, we've seen uh, games in the University of Lagos. Uh, we've seen games at the Lagos State University. And it's been very, very interesting, if I must say. Really, okay, really okay, interesting. Okay, okay. Uh, course, okay. I'm sure you've seen. Okay. Yeah, Cosmos. Uh, so how many athletes do we have in town right now as we speak? In total, from both the Unilag and Lasso Centre? Uh, okay, so I, I wouldn't want to put a figure to it because it keeps increasing. Mm. But as, okay, as, as at the, the last, last count... count we, we, we had close to about 2,000 athletes. Wow. That's after the last count. That's so quite we a lot. Had close to 2,000 athletes. So, so, so okay, yeah, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm asking that. I'm asking different. that because I'm, I'd really like to know a bit more about the logistics for this. How has uh, accommodation been for these athletes? Where are they housing them? How has uh, transportation, the, the transportation, um, you know, protocol been and, and in terms of feeding these athletes as well. Is it the delegations that are responsible for feeding them or is it uh, the um, uh, LOC that is feeding these athletes as well? Can you tell us a bit more about that? Okay, so you have asked four questions in one, so I'm going <laughs> okay. to take them together. Okay. <laughs> All right, so logistics has been seamless. Logistics has been awesome. Um, we've had some universities that are situated at the Lagos State University. We've had universities that are situated at the University of Lagos. And um, from the airport, we take... So he has a question for you. I was going to ask about the football okay, okay. And, and the other sports, the facilities and all of it. I, 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 was, I was going to answer that question okay. to him, um, from all of the questions that um, um, Tunde asked me. Okay, so let me start from the logistic point of view. Now, from the logistic point of view, we're housing them at the University of Lagos and Lagos State University. Now, at the Lagos State University, we have new hostels, uh, the Games Village, I will call it, new hostels. I'm talking about top-class new hostels that we are hosting uh, these athletes. Now, when it comes to food, there's a central place to eat at the University of um, the Lagos State University, in both University. At the Lagos State University, we have the Femi Bajabia Miller Hall, where everybody eats and the food is top class. Now, it's a combination of um, uh, intercontinental food and, of course, local dishes. Okay, and, uh, just, just, you know, as quick, uh, uh, just an aside, Cosmos, I hope the Ghanaians have not been complaining about the jollof rice. <laughs> no, in fact, the if, if they have, I'm going to throw the them out. Fries because <laughs> they are not going to throw them out. I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, I mean. Yes, I spoke to someone from the University of Development uh, of Ghana in Tamale, and he said that the food has been top notch. Mm. You understand? The food has been awesome okay. as well, and and it is a holiday for these guys. So that is the thing about the food. Now, um, of course, about the University of Lagos as well, the food has been. Uh, good as well. I mean, I've had um, praises for the food at the University of Lagos and, of course, the Lagos State University as well. Mm. Uh, talking about some um, logistics, we have um, vehicles on ground. There are several vehicles on ground. And, of course, the Lagos State government uh, has helped in, uh, of course, through LAMATA, 
uh, releasing uh, some of the bosses as well. And it's been a very, very, very interesting uh, competition, if you must ask. I mean, if you ask me. Yeah, so, I, I was asking you something, about, a question about the football. So you want to repeat yeah, that the, question? The, the facilities for the football, for the other sports, how are they? Yeah, the uh, football the pitch looks a bit brown to me. Yeah, I mean, for the, for the other sports. Can you take us through what the other sports okay, are cool. and the facilities in place for them? Okay, so uh, at the University of Lagos, of course, there is football, there's cricket, there's swimming. Uh, trust me, you need to see the uh, new or the refurbished swimming pool of the University of Lagos. It is world class. Yes, of course, uh, there's athletics as well. Athletics will be starting at the University of Lagos as well. Now back to Lagos State University. All of the combat sports are holding at the resource center. Now, the resource center is an architecture masterpiece where we have a lot of halls and, you know, all of them. I mean, judo held, um, judo finished um, today. Of course, I'm sure if there are pictures there, you should be able to see it. Judo um, held today. I mean, they finished today and it has been fantastic. That is where Taekwondo we hold as well. In fact, all of the combat sports, apart from boxing, that ended. So that is where it ended. And of course, when you're talking about um, the court games, we had handball games today. And the handball game, uh, the, 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 the officials of the Handball Federation of Nigeria, and I'm not saying this because um, supposedly the media officer of the Handball Federation supposedly, of Nigeria. Supposedly. Cosmos, the officials really? were talking that, <laughs> I'm not saying this, but the officials, you know, they praised Lasso for bringing out a very good court games. In fact, one of the uh, league uh, teams, I'm talking about the Premier League teams, Rivers Angels, are saying that they are proposing coming to camp in Lasso ahead of the second phase of the Adova Handball Premier League. Mm. So that is how special it is. The basketball court has been awesome as well. Then the badminton court, because it is a city game. It is not a University of Lagos game or the last or the Lagos City University games. We are holding the bat meeting at the Lagos State University of Education, the former Adenira Ogosoya yeah. College of Education, along the same road with uh, Lagos Lasso. State University, it is holding there as well. Now, if you're talking about facilities, um, Tony, let me answer your question about facilities. Facilities have been top notch. I, I think this is an opportunity to invite the three of you out there, Wale Adegun, um, Tunde Koeke, and of course, Tony Ibi. So you're right here into Lagos State University, and of course, you can go to the University of Lagos as well to see the facilities. You said whatever you're seeing on the screen is brown. Trust me, uh, I would like to tell you that whatever you're seeing on the screen does not do justice to the work that those facility guys have done. And so, I'm not so saying this for was... PR purposes. That is the truth. That okay, is the truth. okay. Now, you okay. need to say, of course, you can see. You can see the stands. You can see the stands. I yeah. Mean, if they can show that. And part. I can see the goal, too. So that's an absolutely excellent goal. But, yeah, yeah so, so no yeah. problem. You can see the stand. Yes, that I can. stand was not like that before. Mm. And that I, and stand I was not like that before. And I, I honestly believe that this pitch could be better, like that Cosmos, before. but... I, I totally understand. Yeah, but thank yeah. you so much for joining us. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. And I think you've actually uh, done, you done justice to the to just how world competition has been planned and how it's currently running. But we'll be keeping our eyes on it and uh, also rooting for all the Nigerian universities that are participating and competing. And hopefully, uh, Lasso and Unilago will be regarded as some of the finest hosts in the history of the competition. Cosmos, uh, Chukwe Mika. Yeah, I, I, must, I, must, I must tell you something before I go. Very I quickly. You deserve a promotion, bro. Professor Ibi, I mean, Ibi is watching this right now okay and she's watching this right now and 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 i'm extending the invitation on behalf of her to you guys okay you need to come to lagos state university you need to go to the university of lagos as well and see the things that are ongoing we're not saying we are perfect but trust me with the facilities that we have of course we can be like the university of ghana yes. where yeah. uh, the all african games help okay okay I, I i get that uh, cosmos uh, Chukumika, thank you so much for joining us tonight on game one uh you've definitely earned you you your get yeah, a you, yeah you've definitely earned yeah. your way but thank <laughs> you, you so much uh, for joining us tonight <laughs> on game one <laughs>